Four minutes, 20 seconds. Keaton Rohde in the shotgun. He'll give. You know, Hill bouncing around, takes contact, slides inside, and finds himself in the end zone. Nino Hill, a week after killing clock and scoring, he uses the first drive of the day to kill clock and score, and the McKinley Bulldogs are on the board to start this one. Laterulo, two receivers right, one left. He'll drop back and look to his right. Quick pass is caught, but he is immediately tackled. A nice quick tackle for Alex Vasquez, who we saw giving Lake a lot of trouble last week. A good catch for Jamal Phillips. He was waiting on that ball, though. And uh, second straight drive, Jackson's going to have to punt. Tasked with a third down and 10. Rody steps up. He'll run again. If he gets to that outside, he can get it. He does get it. To the 25, to the 20. Still on his feet. Tripped up, wrapped up, and finally brought down Keaton Rody with a huge run from the 39-yard line. Rody goes down at about the 8. Flies into the starter red zone, stumbling. 10-20 left here in the second quarter. Rody gives Nino Hill. Waltzes into the end zone straight through. Second time today, Nino Hill scores. But it comes off the big run from Keaton Rody. They'll go right into the offensive set. Eckerman, give, Davide, trying to find the end zone. Pounds through the defense. And Jason Davide finds the end zone. Lucas Eckerman checks in at quarterback and causes a lot of havoc for the McKinley defense. The first score of the day for the Polar Bears on a uh, run and gun, hurry up, shotgun, give and go offense. Here in the second quarter, McKinley a 13 to seven lead over Jackson. Bulldogs with the ball at the 38 yard line and driving. Second down and four, Rody, long pass to the left, complete to McNeil. First down to the 50, McNeil stutter steps to the 40, bolting up the sideline, Sincere McNeil to the 10, cuts it inside and into the end zone, Sincere McNeil, tackle breaker, route runner, field vision on key for that run, Sincere McNeil caught a screen pass back towards the 45 and ends up in the end zone, unbelievable. Benson in motion off to the right, Laterula looking to that right side, throws it, High, it's intercepted. Not high enough. Left side and returning it now for the Bulldogs is Dante McClellan. To the right side, McClellan, room. One man to beat, headed for the end zone. Dante McClellan, pick six for the Bulldogs. And they're really going to extend that lead headed to halftime. Snap almost outside of Eckerman's hands. Davide bouncing to the right side, to the 10, to the 5, needs the corner, and he got it. Jackson's back. To start the second half of play, Jason Davide scores that drive led by the freshman Lucas Eckerman delivering the ball where it's needed and the Polar Bears are back on the board. We've got a 10-point game. Jackson, third down and 14. Eckerman back to pass, gets leveled, ball's loose right into the hands of McClellan. He'll roll to the right side and into the end zone. Fumbling forward, never good. Dante McClellan scores for McKinley and the momentum taken away from Jackson. Eckerman pushed back, stays on his feet, got to make some type of throw. Now he's wrapped up and sacked. McKinley finishes the third quarter right, sending Eckerman back about 15 yards. Rody back to pass, looking deep, double covered, still caught on the right side and into the end zone. There was a little bit of pushing back towards the 10. I thought... That play wasn't going to happen, but contact earns the touchdown. Trey Sean Foster uses leverage late. Ooh, that one's a, a could really be a flag, George, but nothing down. And McKinley's going to get the first touchdown here of the fourth quarter. Give Davide up the middle, getting to that left side. Jason Davide's loose into the end zone. Jason Davide. 53-yard touchdown run. They had to get him up front. They didn't, and Davide rolls into the end zone, not letting this one end. 35 seconds and counting. This could be the final play of the day here. Eckerman steps up, wrapped up, and going down back at the 40. Second time tonight we've seen Kyler Jenkins shut him down. A nice sack for Jenkins. That should seal it. They walk away with a swagger on that defense. 40 to 23, McKinley wins it. McKinley winners of four in a row to get back to 500.